Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be looking at the Operation Stonebreak Drop Pod. This is the drop pod that I constantly get mixed up with the Operation Throne Drop Pod because for some reason the color scheme of this one makes me think that its name should be Throne and the other one should be Stonebreak, but no, this is Stonebreak and we're going to take a closer look at it today. Now, I've been working my way through all of the pods. After this one, I will only need to track down Throne for the review of that one. But this one in particular is it's a little weird, particularly with the ODST. Now, I love the color scheme just right off the bat. It looks really cool, but there's some weirdness about that ODST that we need to talk about. Same old packaging. Now, it is interesting to note that the pods would alternate which side that the, the pod was actually on. So Veritas had the ODST on the right and the pod on the left. This one has the pod on the right and the ODST on the left. That was to pack them because then they could like stack. Uh, you know what? Let me just grab the piece of plastic. So look, there is Veritas. You see it's reverse. That was so that they could stack them for shipping like that. Kind of clever. But yeah, other than that, it's just the same old, same old uh, pod. And the ODST is kind of shown as a purpley color, and it's not purple in the slightest. It's just gray. So that's a little weird. But yeah, let's go ahead and tear this open. Without any further ado, like I said in the Veritas review, this was supposed to be new and sealed, but they came kind of taped together. I don't know if... The seller just, the the glue was breaking, so the seller just taped it, or if they actually opened it. Whatever. As long as everything's here, that's fine. There's our instructions, which basically once you've built a pod or two, you don't need the instructions because you'll know how to put them together. Stay. Pod strapped together by a rubber band. Gosh dang it, you stay. Bag of parts inside. Air brake on top. Seen all this before, pretty much. Get out! What the heck? This ODST comes armed with a sniper rifle. And there is the ODST. So, let me go ahead and get this built, and we will take a closer look. There we go. Everything is put together. And let's go ahead and talk about this ODST, because, like I said, there is a little bit of weirdness going on. At first glance, this seems like a pretty normal ODST, if the word normal can be applied to a soldier who drops in a metal coffin from atmosphere into the worst combat zones. But as normal as ODSTs get, just looking at the figure, it's normal. Look at the weapon first. Oops. Big silver sniper rifle, different color silver for the stand, which is cool. And we have some paint. Um... Like Not a Hacker 776 said in the Veritas review, all of the weapon, like none of the weapons are plain. So they all get at least a little bit of print, even if it's weird random pieces like green on the end of a SOCOM pistol. We have red on the back of the scope. It's a little bit of a messy print there, but the red on the front is really nice and sharp. Just enough to make the weapon interesting and not just a plain lump of plastic. And here's the ODST. So, no sniper shoulder, which is interesting. I guess the the later releases didn't have the sniper shoulders. And we have a slightly different helmet here. This is the one with the like light attachment, which is pretty cool. Stripe on the head looks pretty nice. Visor print is pristine, absolutely perfect. Some black around the there. The only thing I could maybe complain about with the helmet print is it's a little faded back here and up at the top of the visor maybe could have gone a little higher but that's nitpicks chest print is also super sharp black and silver and then the red symbol is actually um a little bit sharper than what we saw in the veritas one it's a little closer to the original ones that i looked at which is nice and the color scheme is great it's like a silver blue and then we have like a lighter silver so it's pretty cool. Now the weirdness is that is a female Spartan torso and waist. Why? I mean, okay, maybe this was before Mega made the like Marine and ODST female 
torsos, but like this is just weird. It's just weird. I'm I'm not saying they shouldn't have made a female ODST necessarily, but it just doesn't fit well. There's like gaps everywhere and the the waist is wrong. I mean, it's it's a Spartan torso for crying out loud. So that's just weird. They tried, I guess, but they kind of failed with that. It's I would have much preferred them to just use the male torso cuz like it's ODST armor. How are you really going to tell just by looking at a person in ODST armor if they're a guy or girl? You're in, if the ODST armor is like a full ODST armor, you're really not going to tell. So, I'm going to see if I have a male ODST uh, torso and waist to pop onto this because that female one, it just doesn't work. It's a Spartan Spartan pieces and the chest plate doesn't sit on there properly. It's just weird. Other than that, this figure might be my favorite ODST of the bunch yet just because of the color scheme. It's a really, really like versatile. Eh, ver now that word sounds weird to me. It's really useful. That's what I'm trying to say. It's really useful in a lot of different situations. It looks almost like spec ops. Um, it could just be urban, all kinds of stuff. It, you can pop it into pretty much any scene. I think it'll look great. I guess Stonebreak is supposed to happen in a snowy environment, though, Operation Stonebreak, because the stand here is almost pure white, which is weird to me, honestly, seeing a piece that's just a pure color from Mega, because usually they marble it or something. But yeah, I guess this is in a uh, snow environment, which is a little weird, honestly, because like of all the places, why would you send a dark colored ODST to snow? But still, that's pretty cool. So yeah, overall a great figure but the fact that it's got the wrong torso and waist is just weird that was that was a flop on mega's part and then we have the pod really no surprises here at all we just have a different color scheme and it looks really cool the black and like dark silver and the red it all just jives really well in my opinion we have a silver air brake, which luckily does not just fall down the peg. It will actually stay on top, which is great. And then, see, look, on the bottom, we've got kind of a snowy look. And snow is kind of spattered all up the front of the pod, which is pretty neat. And then this one was giving me a hard time with popping off the door. So let's see if it'll work. Oh, yeah, it will. Inside, we have a silver clip, which is, again, super pointless. Veritas didn't come with one for some reason. This one does. I mean, it's a sniper rifle. You're not going to clip the sniper rifle in there. It's too big. You, you wouldn't even be able to... If you could, you wouldn't be able to fit the figure in there. So I'm going to put the figure in. There we go. I'm not going to stick uh, stick it to the, the, sta uh, the seat because it's a pain to get out. But I want to just see if the sniper rifle fits. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. It definitely fits. Can we close it up? Yep, we can. Perfect. And if I remember correctly, so I watched Jang's review on these. He did Stonebreak and Throne together. And I think this one, this one has clear, whereas some of the other pods, I think, have a more cloudy uh, color scheme for the, whoops, come back here, for the window. So that's just something interesting to note. So yeah, like I said, really no surprises here. It's just the changes in color. But the all the like snow spatters is kind of cool. Makes it kind of limited use. It's kind of just a snow pod unless you just want to ignore the fact that there's snow. But I think it still looks pretty cool. Well, there you have it. That is the Operation Stone Break Drop Pod. And I still constantly almost confuse it with Throne because for some reason I thought this was Throne. And I was really surprised when Throne was the orange and uh, gray one and not the red and gray one. So I just need to get that one. And I'll have reviewed all of the drop pods so far. I really want Mega to bring these back. Like, please, 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 Mega. These were great sets. Just, we will, pretty much every Mega Constructs Halo fan will just buy every single color variation of these pods that you put out we are all suckers for odsts we will buy them give us a 
purple and black one. Give us a yellow and, I don't know, yellow and gray. Uh, something else. Like, give us a whole nother wave. They will be all bought. I'm sure it will be a pain to find them if they are remade. These were perfect. Like, they were great. We need more ODSTs. This one in particular, I would say, is possibly my favorite so far. I really like Veritas, and I really like Flood Hunter, but red is my favorite color, and pairing red with black always looks good, in my opinion. The snow does make this one a little less useful, but color scheme-wise, this could be, like I was saying, this could be urban combat. This could be, like, spec ops kind of thing. Apparently... Operation Stonebreak takes place in snow, so it's being sent into a snow place. So it's just a really good pod. Kind of the way the Flood Hunter one could be used for a lot of different things. Because Cobra, Cobra can be used for a lot of different things, but it is pretty clearly like sand. Ocean Break is pretty specific. It's really, really white. And then Veritas, I mean, not Veritas, Guillotine had the slightly more urban look. But yeah, this one, I think this one's pretty versatile. So my camera is starting to die. So I'll just wrap this up by saying this is another one that you should definitely look into finding. I've said that with pretty much all of them so far. These drop pod sets are worth looking into. But as I've also said in almost every single review so far, these are not worth any more than 20. So I paid about 20 for this one. And I would say don't pay any more than that. 20 or less is fair in my opinion anything higher it's really not worth it even though it's a super cool pod so highly recommended just don't overpay for it but of course that's easier said than done these days thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you next time